Hi everyone, this is Brandon here. So I told you guys I'll be making a farming tutorial guide for you guys to improve your farming rates. But I didn't mention that I won't be making one video solely to just make a tutorial to explain everything on how to improve your farming rates. But I'll make like a few videos to show my progress as how I push my trophies at the same time also farming for resources. And at the same time explaining to you guys uh, what do I look out for and how to improve your farming rates so that you guys can get a hang of it and also improve your rates. So we will just talk more about my attack logs for today. As you can see, uh, I did a little bit of sniping of the town hall. So sniping of town hall is also important as it will get, get you the loot bonus. So that adds up to a little bit of bonus and also to maintain your trophies, that's also important, which I think I'll talk about that in the next video as I have planned for this particular uh, one for you guys already. So we will proceed on to look at the first uh, replay that I want to show you guys. So this base is actually a uh, Town Hall 9. As you can see, uh, the resources is 180,000 and 216,000 elixir. It wasn't that much as compared to later the rates that I'll show you guys. But why I attack this base is as you can see. A storage over there, the small little compartments whereby they collect the resources so um, that's one thing that I look out for and also I will also see whether the base is uh, easy for me to get a 50% so with this base it's not very difficult to get a 50% looking at it that is a uh, Town Hall 9. Town Hall 9 has uh, 50, 72 buildings to uh, the whole entire base so you just have to destroy a total of uh, 36 buildings whereas a Town Hall 10 will have uh, 80 buildings so you have to destroy like 40 buildings to get a 50 percent which is a uh, slightly more difficult so that's for the first rate that i want to show you guys so the second rate that i like to show is uh, this one is a uh, 300 of a thousand uh, resources so as you can see the base is a dead base so if the king and queen on the outside cc the in even troops on the inside so i just deployed uh, some of my troops to take out the queen fight. I didn't want them want her to harass some of my troops later when I start to deploy So deploying them in that particular manner, which I will also explain in my uh, next tutorial video uh, Talking about deployment strategy why I deploy in this manner or whatsoever, but now we will be focusing on the raid itself so as you can see the co collectors are very very full as mentioned and even the Expo and also the infernos are down so that's some things to look out for whether to determine this base is a dead base. So this base really as you can see is a dead base. Later when uh, the dark elixir drill goes down you will see that the dark elixir will go all the way to zero availability. So that's how we know that it's totally a dead base. This base hasn't been uh, uh, active for quite a while already. So yeah I've stole all the loot for this particular base. So now we proceed on to the third replay that I'd like to show you guys. Uh, this one is also uh, another hundred over thousand resources so the main question of the day one what i want to explain to you guys is some of you guys have been asking me what's the minimum amount of resources do i go for the answer is depends on where the resources are being located if the resources are easily accessible for my bam army or whatever army that i'm using i'll definitely go for it if it's above hundred and fifty thousand or even uh, lesser sometimes even hundred and twenty thousand i will go for it also Especially for Dark Elixir, if it's just a, a thousand, but if it's totally outside, just at the corner with the Town Hall exposed, I will take it, no problem. But of course, if the resources is like 400,000 all the way in the core, very difficult to get with the Infernos protecting. And then I know that if I were to try my luck to get it, if I, even, if I only get one storage, for example, I will only get like 100,000. So there's practically no point for me to attack such a difficult base with, although high resources, so we will look at one example of a very high resources but rather easy base but it's not all in the pumps and the mines so as you can see on the top left is uh, almost it's like a 1 million uh, resources base so i was focusing more on the de and also the elixir so as you can see i was dropping my troops where the dark elixir drills were located on the top left our top left i was focusing trying to lure the queen out hoping that she would jump over the wall so that my king my my troops can take them out take her out sorry so now uh, continuing the raid, I drop more of my troops, my archers on the top left side to take out the elixir collector. So now I focused on that point already. 
So I'll be continuing on the right side, looking at where the town hall is, it's exposed. Hopefully I can get the town hall so I can score the win. The top part is where is the most critical part because uh, the mo more resources are on the top. Three of the collectors on the top and also two of the Dark Elixir drill. So I was focusing more on my troops there, dropping my CC there, which I knew I had five wizards my clanmates have uh, kindly gave me. So now focusing at two positions uh, on the right side, which I've dropped some of the archers. And now focusing on the bottom, which the king I've reached... Uh, my troops over there so that they can take out the collectors. One rage cost uh, 33,000 elixir and the particular collector itself was like more than 50 over 1000 uh, elixir so obviously it was a uh, cost worthy to take it out. So now dropping my queen take out the last uh, drill and just ending the battle with all that particular resources. As you can see like the goal itself I know I didn't take out most of the uh, gold mines but if you look carefully I did take out all the elixir drill pumps but there are still a, a little bit of resources inside so obviously i will not go for it because there is no point for me to use all my troops especially my king and queen to try to go for the storages so main question of the day is what uh what kind of bases do i go for so those are the bases i, I go for and also uh, what's the minimum loot i go for around 120,000 150,000 depending on where the loot is so I just hope you guys will learn something from this particular video and uh, will be able to increase your farming rates and obviously and hopefully you guys can subscribe also and leave a like if you guys would like more of this kind of farming uh, tutorial videos from me and with that said I'd like to thank you for watching my video and clash on.